I'm back out doing another landscape photography video. I'm up at Scales Tarn, which is just there, which means that I'm heading up to Blencathra. And I mentioned about doing this a couple videos ago, but what we're going to do is head up there and go up Sharp Edge. So what we've got to do is head up this track and then we just follow this ridge. Then you get drops down either side and it's like a bit of a scramble up to the top. So I think what I'm going to do for this is just so that you can see all the views that are up there is I'm going to stick the GoPro on and I'll show you all the interesting bits. So from when we get to about there onwards, because it's just to walk up a grassy track there and that'd be kind of boring. But once I get up there, that'd be quite fun. Um, I always feel kind of responsible when I'm doing these kind of videos, but if you are going to do this, if you fall, it's there's a good chance that you're not going to get up again. So make sure you you like got good footwear and you're prepared because it is really dangerous if it's slippy. Um, that's the other reason I want to use a GoPro so I can just concentrate on my feet and what I'm doing because I want to get some pictures while we're going up there too. But you should be able to see everything that's going on and I'll try and describe what we see along the way. But I think we'll probably stop in a couple of places. So I'll swap back to this camera and probably get some pictures. But for the most part, it'll just be a bit of an adventure. So we'll go and see what we can find now. Climbed up there pretty quickly. That's where we started the video, just down there. So we're like a quarter of the way up. I think we're about a quarter of the way up now, and that's on seven minutes, 18 seconds. So I guess it takes about 20 minutes to climb up. Uh, I think I might find a better place to stop for pictures. I'm not too keen on this angle, just down there. Uh, quite like somewhere a bit flatter. These rocks are quite sharp, but I'm sure there's like a flat, like a flat sheet back there. So we'll go and find that.
think my little pep talk about safety at the start has got into my head and now I'm freaking out to be honest. Uh, we made it up to this flat piece and I'm sure after this it's just like a rocky scramble up to the top but here it's just like a smooth rock with nice views down the sides. I don't really want to move right now though. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm going to walk around all the way. Okay, I've made a decision. I'm going to drop down this side. Um, if I feel like I don't want to do it, there's like a scramble down that way. There's like a gully down the bottom. So we can do that, or if I get my legs back, we can carry on this way. I've never read this before. What's going on? Getting soft as I go in there. But yeah, I, I'm going to stop talking about it because I think that's what's doing me in.
Well, I'm at the top. I was shitting myself the whole time then. I've never felt like that before. What the hell? I knew it leveled out like this at some point, so that's why I kept on going. I was thinking of turning back, but I didn't see any of that. Oh, bloody hell. I'm not really bothered about going to the top of Blancafra, but it's just there. So maybe we should do that. Then maybe we can come down this side and then um, then we'll get a side view of Sharp Edge and at least we get a bit of Sharp Edge. Every time I stopped I was just holding on, my fingers really hurt. Bloody hell. Getting soft. I was just heading up to the top then and then we've just got a view back over to the Sharp Edge now. So I. I grabbed a quick photo. I didn't bother setting up the tripod because it's really bright. Um, there's shadows halfway down. So about here. Uh, then you get the tarn down here and you get the path that we walked up. And then we came up through here. I've kind of just gone angry now. I've got to do it again now because yeah, I can't leave it as that. I don't know where I went wrong. I don't know why I got scared. I, I never get scared like that. I'm not sure if it's because I'm still getting over that flu. So maybe I was just a bit dizzy, but yeah, just a bit annoyed. So uh, we'll go up to the top, grab a drink, and then see what views we can see. I've made it up onto the top now. I'm not actually sure I'm on top of Blancafra, but I preferred the look of this, this bit here with a view down this ridge and I've got the camera set up and you get this ridge leading around and there's a couple of people walking here and it's gonna I think it should work so that they're silhouettes I need to wait until they're about there but it's, it's working out quite nicely because you get all these light and dark spots then you get the valley down here you get derwent water it's some nice clouds. We'll wait until they're in that spot there. Hopefully they'll walk up next to each other. It just like add a little nice little detail onto that side. Yeah, they're in frame now. So I'm gonna put this camera down and then wait until they're in the right spot. I think it might actually look better if they stop on the top. So in like two minutes, but we'll just wait and see what happens. I'm quite happy with those photos now. Um, I got them as they were walking up that ridge and then a couple while they were stood at the top. I got, I wasn't sure what would be better, like if they were close together or further apart. Um, they sort of looked like trig points or like sticks, but just like simple silhouettes. But I thought that little little touch of human elements on that side might might be good. It's got quite windy. Um, but for this shot, what I did is I've got a polarizer on there and I've got a two-stop soft ND grad. The polarizer is just getting rid of some of that glare and the two-stop soft grad is just to balance out that sky a little bit because I like all the the dark and light spots down there and yeah it was just blowing out some of the sky so the two stops off just balanced it out right so I'm kind of tempted to go over there but I think I'm gonna end the video here and then I can just switch off for a bit because I think I've been overthinking things today and it's just screwing me over so yeah I'm not sure what this video is going to be like. Um, if I look as scared as I felt, it might be quite funny for you. It'd be funny for me watching back. Definitely wasn't funny at the time. But yeah, we'll do it again one day. Just learn from them mistakes and not bring a bag as big as that. I got it caught on everything. 
I think that's what made me start panicking. Like you squeeze through like a little a gap, and then your tripod would get stuck, and then the bag would get stuck, and then it'd be like, now what? But yeah, we're at the top. So I'm gonna stop rambling on, and yeah, hope you like the video. Hopefully next time it's a bit more successful, and I'll see you then.